appeals court judge has declared war on what he sees as partisan bias in the news media. The judge decrying the treatment of conservatives in American society and calling for the Supreme Court to overturn a landmark legal precedent that protects news outlets from lawsuits over reports about public figures. Senior political analyst Britt Hume has some thoughts on that tonight. Good evening, Britt. I wanted to start, though, right. with uh, Secretary <clears throat> Mayorkas. You know, he did, as we pointed out in Peter Ducey's piece earlier, a number of Sunday shows talking about the situation at the border. I wanted to get your thoughts about how he did and the messaging of the administration. Well, I think what he said was pretty hard to sell to the American people who can see, even, even though we don't have you know, access that we'd like at the border, what's going on down there. And he said you know, that the, the border is not open, that the border is closed. And then he, of course, had to acknowledge that, yeah, there are some people who are getting across and being you know, sent into the interior of the country. And, and you know, he was trying to explain at one point what the, they were doing. I mean, they couldn't. He said, we are, um, I, I've forgotten the word he used. You're talking about their processes uh, that we that we are putting together, putting our processes in place. Well, what does that mean? Um, so it was, you know, it was. I thought it was a pretty unconvincing performance, at least to anybody with eyes. Yeah, and the the media access is obviously a big issue as well. Which brings me to that uh, question about the federal judge, and you know this judge, um, Judge Lawrence Silberman, um, in the federal appeals court, and he writes this case, this uh, opinion, a dissent in this case, about political impact. He says there can be little question that the overwhelming uniformity of news bias in the United States has an enormous political impact. It should be borne in mind that the first step taken by any potential authoritarian or dictatorial regime is to gain control of communications, particularly the delivery of news. It's fair to conclude, therefore, that one-party control of the press and media is a threat to a viable democracy, uh, saying it's very dangerous, Britt. Well, I, uh, Lawrence Silverman may not be, Silverman may not be a, a household name to most Americans, but in, in conservative judicial and political circles, he is very well known. He is very much a conservative jurist as well as a political conservative. And his the views expressed in this opinion comport very much with a great what a, with what a great many Republicans, conservatives, and conservatives think about the media. He said, you know, that the New York Times and Washington Post were basically Democratic Party broadsheets. Uh, he described the networks as basic trumpets for the Democratic Party. A lot of people agree with that. And the, re the reason this was fitted into this uh, dissenting opinion was that it was on whether the uh, precedent under which uh, journalists who report on public figures are almost immune from libel suits uh, should be continued or whether it should be undone. He argued it should be undone because the last thing we need, he argued, is uh, to have even more power, as much power as we now have in the hands of a monolithic media. I mean, I just That's have where he's 10 seconds here, but um, you don't usually see this kind of scathing opinion, a dissent, any kind of opinion. No, you, you, well, you don't, particularly when it, it, it seems a little bit to come out of nowhere in this opinion, although, as I say, a great many Republicans and conservatives would agree with every word he said about the, the state of our national media today. Britt, as always, thank you.